Okay, so I'm standing uh, on the seaside of Tonono at Moko, and I've just arrived at the so you'll see that house there I can't remember what number it is but anyway uh, and then you come along the beach actually I'll just go back and you'll see there's the pilot station oh gosh yep over there is Robin Waho uh, so yes so we've just come down the walkway and come along to the beach and there's a digger uh, there on the potentially very close to the Uripa, the Wahi Tapu, where our great grandparents, Granny Teremai and Granddad Taripo Tahuya, are buried. Uh, if not on the Uripa, very close to it. Potentially on perhaps the council's bit, but anyway, certainly very close to the Uripa. And it looks like they've been, oh, putting up some more rocks and building a retaining wall. Now, today is Saturday the 8th of October. Robert and I uh, were at the pilot station five weeks ago to mow lawns, four or five weeks ago to mow the lawns at the pilot station, and this structure was not here then. So it has been constructed since then. And we have not been notified. I have not been notified that this was going to happen, and this is how close we are to the Rupa. So where the digger is, and where, where's my finger? My finger along here, right here, is the Urupa. So the fact that that sort of work has been undertaken very close, if not on, our Urupa, concerns me, concerns me a lot, and I'm very concerned that we haven't been notified. And I will be filing a formal complaint to the Waikato Regional Council. Actually, I have already done that. I emailed the Waikato Regional Council today and sent them a picture of uh, the view from the pilot station and Robin and I have now come down here to have a look and investigate what has been going on down here and to record this. So I'm going to walk up now onto the Urupa just to kind of, well, a bit closer to see what else is been going on here. So clearly there's been some significant work being undertaken here. A great big huge retaining wall and a whole lot of rocks that have been put in place to secure the bottom of the retaining wall. And there is Mr Peter Soule's name on the digger. Peter Soule Transport Limited. There's nobody in it at the moment, but I'm sure there was at some point, not long ago, and potentially again will be some point in the near future. So if we look to see where, how close it is to the Urupa, well, it's very close, and as you can see, so is the other house on the other side. It's very close to where the Urupa is. And I would like to see, actually, where the boundary is and even if they're not on the actual Uripa in terms of the boundary because we all know that actually the whole of Tonono is an Uripa um, then they are on a piece of land that is extremely close to our Uripa so why were we not notified about this significant work that has clearly been undertaken in the recent past certainly within the last four weeks since we were at the pilot station because that was not here when we were at Morco the last time. I'm going to stop here now. I think I've filmed enough for now. And I'm going to say a karakia for my tūpuna who lie here and for the rest of us. Kia ora. Signing off, Marama Hinari Waho on the 8th of October 2022. And it's about, it's between 6 and 6.30pm in the early evening.